Russia has just dropped a blood curdling warning on Greece. Greece wants to provide Ukraine with an S-300 missile defense system, a move which has now been declared an act of war by Russia. Hi and welcome you are watching India's world we discuss geopolitics here subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more interesting videos. When it comes to relations with Russia Greece is a weird country. Its people support Russia and oppose Ukraine. Its industries and businesses support Russia and oppose Ukraine, but its government supports Ukraine and opposes Russia. The government of Greece recently declared that it will supply Ukraine with a Soviet-era S-300 missile defense system. Under a deal reached with US, Greece will get American MIM-104 Patriot systems in return for the S-300 missile system that will be dispatched to Ukraine. So far, so good, until Russia enters the picture. Russia has declared this Greek move as a hostile act. Maria Zakharova, a spokeswoman for the Russian Foreign Ministry, said in a statement, that would be a gross violation of Russian-Greek agreements on military and technical cooperation adding that both the 1995 and 2013 treaties signed by Moscow and Athens in this field explicitly forbid Greece to re-export the military equipment supplied by Russia without Moscow's consent. In her statement, the spokeswoman added, trampling on its commitments under the treaties is bound to have consequences. Greece is a country where about 70% of people oppose giving Ukraine any kind of economic or military assistance. Interestingly, Greece is also an EU member nation where 30% of people admit that their country doesn't benefit from the participation in the bloc. In fact, even Greek companies support Russia over Ukraine, purely because of economic reasons. Last month, it was reported by Foreign Policy FP, that Greek companies were helping Russia evade American and European sanctions on Russian energy. Although the EU banned Russian vessels at the end of May, Russian oil can still be delivered to the EU on tankers owned or flagged in other countries. This appears to be where the Greek large shipping industry has spotted an opportunity. Russia is one of the largest sources of revenue for Greek shipping companies and that is why they don't support the stance of their government to ban Russian goods. In Greece, there is a clear clash of interest between the government and the people. In May, the same Greek government had clearly denied sending Ukraine any weapon or the S-300 missile defense system, citing that it itself needs it to guard its islands from Turkish invasion. But now, the government seems to have taken a U-turn under the pressure from Biden administration. That can really spell doom for the political stability in Greece. People and industries don't want their nation to go against Russia in order to save their economic interests. And if the government fails to meet their expectations, the government can collapse sooner than later. This is Biden administration's master plan to prolong the conflict in Ukraine by pitting one European country against another. If US genuinely wants to help Ukraine, it can directly send its Patriot missile defense system to Ukraine, but no, because it will have serious consequences for America's own national security. From the battlefield, the Patriot missile defense system can easily fall into Russia's hands and it can help the Kremlin to build a solid antidote to it. So, the Biden White House is now striving to use Greece as an expandable pawn to harm Russia and further its own interests. India's World, telling the right side of the story.